an architectural wonder and heaven for horticulturalists. Kew Gardens' vast Victorian greenhouse is open again to the public. It's taken five years of restoration, moving in 10,000 plants from the world's temperate climates, where it's not too hot and not too cold. This is the largest Victorian glasshouse in the world. It's nearly 200 metres long. It actually consists of five separate buildings. It's Grade 1 listed. Uh, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's open to the public every day of the year as well. So dismantling this building, restoring it, taking all the plants out, returning them, it has been a hugely complex project. Inside are plants that can feed the world, like the NSET, a staple crop in Ethiopia, a cousin of the banana plant, which Kew scientists hope can be used throughout Africa. There are plants that supply medicine and plants that are purely beautiful. Seeing all these plants under one roof paints a pretty positive picture of global biodiversity, but in the wild, a fifth of plant species are at risk of extinction. They're the foundation of life, but farming, logging, development and climate change are putting them at risk. The species are part of Kew Gardens' living collection used by scientists, and in charge of them is Scott Taylor. We grow plants that are of really high scientific value, notably conservation. Kew is a conservation organisation. We've got about 250 species growing in here out of 1,500 that have got conservation ratings, so that's from vulnerable to extinct in the wild. Five species here extinct in the wild, which means you don't find them anywhere else in nature. One of those now extinct species is the Encephalatus woodii, which survived since the time when dinosaurs roamed, a favourite here with botanists. Our specimen here has actually been at Kew nearly 120 years, which is spectacular. And the story behind this is quite unique. Um, our little uh, our cycad here came as an offset of the original specimen found and the only male specimen found in the wild. These plants are part of our everyday life, from the food we eat to the clothes we wear, the materials we use and the medicines we take. But too often, we take them for granted. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, London.